Yeah, guys, uh, welcome back and uh, welcome to our market news today on the 20th of uh, February. The usual gang and some new faces. Hey, Peter. Hey, yeah, Frank is also back here. So, hey, folks, and uh, Sylvia, great. Uh, obviously, cool to check out what goes in markets today as we might uh, face some potential interesting moves. Should markets break into one direction or the other? News wise, we don't have anything much honestly brewing here right now. Let me update the uh, economic calendar. Still on the wrong time zone here. Um, news wise, we have something interesting from uh, European car makers. They might uh, get uh, themselves uh, into a bigger, say, conglomerate, VW, Volkswagen, Renault, Fiat Chrysler Group, thinking to team up to potentially defend against other competitors, BYD, among others, build your dreams from China, among other Chinese big car makers. For me, in Southeast Asia, it's kind of a normal picture to see a couple of Teslas on the road. Quite a few in Bangkok, I have to say, um, of the uh, say newer Porsche Taycan Turbo. Since I'm a car guy, kind of uh, something funky when these guys accelerate. Crazy story. And in Singapore, obviously, you have the uh, high so um, uh, car manufacturers also uh, being busy with their electric electric powered vehicles uh, in my family got somebody working for lucid motors in the us currently the fastest acceleration vehicle in production actually general production vehicle with a lucid against the tesla plate um what does that mean for us nothing major but it's something interesting to first of all check into stock markets and i found something that volkswagen actually looks uh, quite interesting if you're looking at the share price there is a bit of a bottoming actually to be seen so that could offer upside potential and what i would like to do actually because we are a bit uh, laid back in regards to trading equities let me check if we have uh, volkswagen obviously we have volkswagen but uh, in my list um two oh, blind eye here where is um, that looks like uh, Volkswagen. I would like to look into the list for oh, so small figures. I'd like to purchase a little bit. Uh, there we go. 119.60 as uh, it looks actually like it's some opportunity that the market 119. Okay. Yeah. So that uh, market price wise, we could see potential opportunities here in this market and uh, any potential chances it could be seen let's buy uh quickly 100 uh, let's buy 10000 uh, bucks by 112 100 shares let's buy 100 shares and uh, I'm not too sure if the market is already open. Maybe not yet. Yes, exactly. The market is still closed. But uh, there's an opportunity here, as uh, I might say. The market looks, honestly, from a technical point of view, to a break higher as uh, the optimal optimal market momentum here has uh, kind of seen upside potential previously. The market was kind of trading to the upside, was uh, flirting with the 50 moving average. Uh, you know, the traders quite often look into that zone. We could also do one thing. We could also add in the moving average, the, the simple 200. I was, I don't know why, but uh, when uh, blue color, there was always when I uh, worked in the family office, uh, what is kind of something interesting on every trader's so screen, the 50 quite often other moving averages, but definitely the 200 as well, offering upside potential, right? So, and the market has fallen substantially. Let's ignore this one, whatever that means here. There is sometimes also in the meter trader, some hiccups in the longer term old style charts, but this looks like a, a, a typical setup, which might call for upside motivation. We can look into this from that perspective. Obviously, one thing is clear, the bottoming of this market uh, has been found or a bottom has been found so far whether this resistance line makes sense 
we could uh, also draw it uh, differently obviously we could look into uh, this area which has been already broken among lower price ranges and uh, hence obviously we could say hey whether the market goes all the way up towards the 200 230 area remains a uh, big time questionable obviously these big uh, say old-fashioned previously important car manufacturers have obviously caused uh, market momentum uh, to be uh, differently uh, behaving in a way meaning in this case that uh, uh, the guys obviously have a different way of uh, starting to produce cars they have different management strategies different man management teams but uh, why not with uh, the potential restructuring and teaming up there could be some uh, some interesting uh, news uh, to emerge. Well, let us dig further into this, but uh, momentum here for Volkswagen, I might say, could be seen, and hence, obviously, upside potential might be something interesting. By the way, something obviously also kind of uh, interesting here in the Volkswagen uh, environment when looking at it from that perspective, we could look into Continental Automotive. Uh, we have somebody, Andreas, is also here. Uh, Conti had uh, weakened uh, recently, but uh, had behaved actually not overly bad as well, looking at the recent uh, uh, trading industry. We see a bit of a bottoming, whether this is enough to justify the market's momentum uh, uh, moving again back to the upside. But uh, in terms of importance on a global scale, this could be something worth considering here um, I was uh, kind of connected in my uh, business partners group in Singapore with uh, the guys running the show uh, of uh, Continental Automotive mostly local Singaporeans in Singapore quite big they have a couple of thousand employees just uh, in Singapore alone and obviously uh, as we understand that most cars car parts uh, or most car manufacturers at least have uh, purchased or purchase uh, a couple of uh, ingredients say from uh, uh, Continental Automotive, obviously another competitor, bigger, a big competitor would be Scheffler as well. So in this case, something interesting maybe to look into if you look for potential opportunities. However, VW, uh, as I might say, found a potential bottom with the recent news we just debated. We could see market momentum to run potentially higher. Speaking of equities, stock markets, uh, we can say that the German DAX is slowly breaking to the high upside. So whether this is enough to justify further potential moves to higher levels uh, might be seen uh, somehow soon, but um, looking at it from the uh, S&P 500. We could also debate now whether we draw a bit of a, a steeper trend line right now. The market is in a correction, correctional pattern right now. What we said earlier, and we can't see it perfectly here due to the trend lines, uh, these uh, pin bar candles or that pin bar candle from last week when the market corrected and then back all the way to the upside could unleash momentum towards higher levels and with that obviously we could see um, upside potential might continue similar to the nasdaq which is offering similar price uh, patterns or a pretty similar price pattern however not as strongly pointing to the upside uh, as the chart might suggest here last but not least uh, equities wise obviously the market might be uh, interested as well to see what or traders might be interested to see what um, the US dollar is doing and the greenback has stabilized. Well, we corrected a little bit, right? So yesterday the markets didn't do anything much, went slightly lower and it's clearly on the way to offer potential and uh, the upside potential could be seen if uh, basically the market finds uh, some sort of motivation to finally break beyond the resistance zone. It still looks like and whether this retest or whatever still takes some time at the moment uh, we have well we could also talk about it's not really something interesting on the uh, daily charting pattern more like on a weekly or monthly uh, chart left shoulder head right shoulder maybe in the making which would call for some sort of further weakness here to begin with before the market jumps potentially higher however this uh, zone here it looks set to push the market back to the upside here should we see that the support zone 
kind of lasts and uh, continues uh, towards higher levels as well. The Aussie is doing something similar. We talked about it yesterday. The Australian dollar looks uh, kind of quite similarly positive and uh, potentially ready as well to break to higher levels. Uh, should we see that uh, the resistance area is being broken? We had some news this morning, if I'm not wrong, RBA meeting minutes, they obviously didn't do anything much. so. There was no volatility before heading um, too bad early on. There was nothing much uh, happening here. So definitely not a clear indication, anything fancy schmancy, which uh, we saw here uh, this morning. And volatility obviously was just like nothing much was happening, right? So not too much to be seen, but uh, upside potential could continue. And the dollar weakness, well, in commodities, we can see it, right? So gold and uh, basically the silver the oil market keep rising we don't have a ceasefire as we understand yet from uh, the middle east which we heard i didn't check where's my blue me um here so uh, there is nothing major which is uh, at the moment happening and uh, in this case uh, okay europe is being forced to rebuild its car industry so yeah that's uh, that's the story so it's kind of interesting to see how the market uh, will go, go on further uh, further uh, in the near future and uh, how the market goes but obviously commodities wise uh, it might be interesting to see and evaluate how the situation is going to potentially at least how the situation is going to um, perform as the middle east and commodities prices gold silver say uh, might be impacted as well by a potential ceasefire if there's anything broken which we hear from the bbc uh, that uh, there could be something in the making where the world is also eyeing and looking uh, straight towards uh, um, in particular towards uh, israel on how they perform and uh, uh, basically how they treat human rights so when when we talk about the middle east when we talk about the gaza strip in particular but um, on another note that could at least uh, be also behind what uh, causes the gold price to be volatile gold looks kind of better or positive however not extremely clear well on a weekly pattern we have uh, this uh, pin bar candle this pin bar candle might be something which causes the market to run to the upside so there is an opportunity potentially to be seen in gold silver is uh, obviously still in a big waiting pattern and uh, let's uh, start with our open uh, trades oh, we went down a little bit um the silver trade where we have our buy stop order has not been triggered obviously above the highs where we want to buy so let's see how the market goes uh, in regards to this market motivation we have uh, crossed already kind of quite some interesting levels but uh, it makes sense to wait and see how the market goes here if the market starts to break it towards the upside here towards the 23.40 area we could see the breakout happening which basically tells us um, the markets are in general in a strong waiting pattern however based on the weekly chart uh, we talked about yesterday as well the stream pin bar candle going all the way to the downside to uh, basically retesting and offering the sharp support area could be you now what's behind uh, this market pushing to the upside let me reduce or remove this line we coincide currently where we're price wise where we are trading at with the 50 moving average and if the 50 moving average is being retested then that area we could see the market quickly the running higher so that counts for silver looking kind of good I would say silver is uh, undervalued in a way, looking at it from a general perspective, but who am I? Uh, we can see the market has been in a sideways pattern. And if it's not breaking to the upside uh, due to mainly the recent strength in the green bag, then obviously uh, we don't have uh, much shit to talk about because if the market doesn't break higher, it doesn't. And that's actually obviously what's uh, against it. Bitcoin and Ether, nothing much might be in the current situation well established and uh, well obviously is else it wouldn't be trading where it's currently trading uh, the market might uh, break higher if the triangle formation is being broken to the upside if anyone is long maybe increasing the stop loss is uh, what i would say makes potentially sense so 51 
51,200, 51,240, thereabout could be an interesting level uh, to put the stop loss. If the market breaks to the upside, we could see uh, further potential towards higher levels. So in Ether, we saw something similar. However, the market broke already higher yesterday. So it seems to be kind of, uh, uh, if you compare Bitcoin to gold and Ether with silver, which I would never do, but if we would do that, we could see that silver is currently rising sharper to make up with uh, what we've seen uh, before. So that's uh, definitely what could uh, support, uh, support uh, Ether here in the near future. That's it. With these markets, the Australian dollar, Bitcoin, dollar, uh, oil uh, breaking to the upside. Here, let's come to the open positions and talk about what goes. So oil looks actually kind of quite positive. So oil might uh, run indeed to the upside here uh, with uh, upside potential. We have a rather small position here giving this uh, market support here, but uh, the market's break to the upside looks kind of quite positive. Nothing major, which I would say could be against here, uh, oil rising. So it looks just uh, sweet to kind of push to the upside and hence obviously let's uh, stay and remain in that position. The Canadian dollars are not doing anything much, uh, which is unfortunate, but uh, we said we have to wait, right? So let's wait and see how this market goes. Uh, we might uh, uh, cause and might see that the market momentum is kind of quite uh, interesting in regards uh, to what we can observe here right now. So we'd have to wait and focus on potential further market momentum uh, in regards to what uh, happens potentially later on here. So let's wait and see uh, again based on the monthly chart. So nothing much. Uh, is uh, uh, at the moment what kind of changes the recent outlook and the euro dollar well not doing anything further as we started talking about early on it's kind of in a sideways pattern so if it runs higher it might uh, cause the markets to be extremely positive as well and that's basically all it takes dollar japanese yen not uh, going to show us anything but the market starts increasing its value slightly so a breakout might be in the making s p we talked about silver we talked about so basically that's uh, it from my side so far news wise uh, we got uh, well minor things Bayer leverkusen german uh, pharmaceutical and biotechnology company is about to reduce their dividend payments by far. How much they paid? Uh, 63 billion US dollars for Monsanto, obviously kind of ton of lawsuits in the US. Uh, I'm per perfectly, uh, personally not a big friend about it. They purchased Monsanto. No, yeah, well, they purchased Monsanto, famous for their uh, uh, Roundup herbicide, which supposedly is uh, uh, a dangerous uh, cancer producing ingredient potentially. Uh, anyway, so, so it's uh, their market price, uh, they, oh, their tech over price was so high, they need to find and secure, uh, they secure uh, the basic financing in order to kind of refinance uh, the amount they have to pay. Guys, that's it from my side. Talk to you soon. Have a good day trading. Further updates uh, for our VIP guys, uh, likely throughout the trading day uh, via our Telegram VIP channel. Uh, do we have anything to focus on today? Inflationary momentum could be something which might move the Canadian dollar. Yeah. That's something we could uh, look into later. So hence potentially further updates here from our side. See you then. Take care.